Hi guys and welcome to Strength Universe. Before we get into the video I'd like to say thanks to Damiano, Jay Big Boy and Paul O'Neill as well as everyone else who suggested a video on Greg Kovacs. Greg was born on the 16th of December 1968 in Niagara Falls, Ontario and started to lift weights when he was 17 years old as part of his hockey training but soon quit hockey to concentrate on the iron game. At his peak he stood 193 centimetres or 6 foot 4 inches tall and in the off season weighed as much as 187 kilograms or 416 pounds. At such a size Greg was undoubtedly the largest professional bodybuilder ever, being considerably bigger than the likes of the 6 foot 1 inch 320 pound Paul Dillette, the 6 foot 5 inch 340 pound Lou Ferrigno and the 6 foot 3 inch 371 pound Morgan Asti. There's no doubt that Craig was certainly the biggest professional bodybuilder of all time, but how about the claims of him being the strongest? I didn't realize how strong I was until one day I went to a powerlifting contest in my hometown and the top bench was 430 pounds and I looked at the weight and I said, wait a minute, that's not very heavy. I went up there and I benched it like 19 times and then I walked out and then there was another uh, I was reading a magazine and it said Ted R.C., the strongest man in the world, can behind the neck press 360 pounds for four reps. Nobody's ever pressed over 400 pounds behind the neck and I was already doing 405 for like six to eight reps behind the neck when I was 19 years old. So I thought, wow, I must be a lot stronger than most people. That's the first, when I first realized maybe I can, I'm different than other people, you know. During the late 1990s, Flex magazine, in which Greg appeared frequently in articles and adverts, claimed that Greg could bench press 318 kilograms or 700 pounds. During this time, the world record was held by James Henderson and was just 5 kilograms or 11 pounds heavier at 322.5 kilos or 711 pounds. Flex magazine went on to claim that Greg could incline press 306 kilograms or 675 pounds for six repetitions, which is a 10% heavier weight for double the repetitions that the current bench press world record holder Julius Maddox can manage. But Greg didn't seemingly only have a strong bench press, but also claimed to squat 340 kilograms or 750 pounds for 15 repetitions which is virtually double the repetitions that Eddie Hall manages with a similar weight. Flex went on to state that Greg could do a 45 degree leg press with more than 2,000 pounds of weight for multiple sets of 20 repetitions. And while this may appear to be less weight than Ronnie Coleman's infamous 2,300 pounds, bear in mind that Ronnie used a 35 degree leg press, which makes it considerably easier and managed less than half the repetitions. Possibly even more incredible was the claim that Greg would overhead press 91 kilogram or 200 pound dumbbells for 12 repetitions, which is a feat of strength that I believe is unmatched even by today's static monsters. As well as these lifts, it's also claimed that Greg could do barbell rows with 265 kilograms or 585 pounds for seven repetitions, and bicep curls with 120 pound dumbbells for eight repetitions. But how do these claimed lifts match up with reality, starting with the incline press? Greg has only ever featured in one video, which was called Colossus and made as a marketing exercise by his long term sponsor, Muscle Tech Nutrition. At the start of the video, Greg is infamously shown loading six 45 pound plates onto either end of a non counterbalanced Smith machine, of which the bar weighs 60 pounds for a combined weight of 600 pounds, which we are led to believe he presses for four repetitions. But when the camera angle momentarily moves, we can clearly see that there's only five plates on each side, meaning the actual weight is 231 kilograms or 510 pounds which while impressive is well below the 306 kilograms or 675 pounds for six repetitions that was claimed in Flex magazine. Next we look at the dumbbell fly, and while there were no claims made about what Greg could lift in this particular exercise, it's safe to assume that someone with a claimed bench press of 700 pounds and an incline press of 675 pounds for reps 
could easily lift more than Ronnie Coleman, who at this time was only five and a half weeks out from the Mr. Olympia. And while this comparison isn't an exact match due to the differences in the angle of the bench, it's good enough to give some perspective on Greg's actual strength when compared to Ronnie Coleman. Next we look at a dumbbell curl in which Greg could supposedly lift 120 pound dumbbells for 8 repetitions. And while it wasn't specified whether this was in a standing curl or seated curl, the implication was that Greg had some of the strongest biceps in the world. Yet here he manages just 7 repetitions with 60 pound dumbbells, which is not conducive of the numbers claimed by Flex magazine. Next we look at a 45 degree leg press, and you may remember from the claims at the start of the video that Greg could supposedly press over 2,000 pounds for multiple sets of 20 reps, yet here we see Greg managing less than half of those repetitions with 40% less weight. For the penultimate lift we look at a hack squat, and while no claims were made for this exercise you would expect someone who can supposedly squat 750 pounds for 15 repetitions and leg press over 2000 pounds for sets of 20 to beat or at least equal Ronnie Coleman in the final stages of his Olympia prep. While Greg does manage over double the repetitions without the use of knee wraps, it is at a considerably lighter weight that calculates to be a lower total output, although to give Greg his due, his form is exemplary. Better call your mother. Drive it up, come on. Finally we look at the lateral raise, and you would expect someone who claims a military press of 184kg to 12 reps to beat a pre-Olympia Ronnie Coleman, but that isn't shown here with both athletes using the same weight and achieving the same repetitions, although Greg is doing the lateral raise seated with less bend in the elbow that makes the lift more difficult. There's no doubt that Greg Kovacs was the biggest professional bodybuilder of all time, but he was possibly not the strongest. I believe his lifts were likely exaggerated in order to create an enigma for the muscle tech advertising campaign. But as always, it would be great to hear your opinion, so please leave a comment below letting me know whether you think Greg was as strong as the adverts claimed, and whether you believe he would have done better as a strongman than he did in bodybuilding. I've left credits and social media links in the description below, so please check those out and give everyone a follow. And finally, if you enjoyed the video, please help support my channel by smashing like, sharing the video, and if you haven't done so already, subscribing. Thank you.